Hello. I know I look awful and honestly I, I have so many ideas for videos but just it's again the energy and the motivation and I keep whenever I post a video that has low energy in the beginning you'll almost always see me like a decent amount better by the very end um, or at least laughing somewhere in there because I do a, a fake it till you make it just so I can deal with daily life sometimes you know you just gotta hi everything's great I mean I don't not that not that fake maybe more like okay now that won't, this won't be so bad I mean the good thing about it is now I know that I shouldn't do that you know like just just twisting things into something positive and I know it's really cheesy and I know it's very much like oh, that's just not how life is sometimes and I get that but I need to stop being negative in my brain I need to stop and this is what I'm doing so making a quesadilla right now just why because you know hey quesadilla just because Donovan wants to be upstairs right now by he's this is what got me like I started talking to myself and then I realized okay grab the camera because you're talking he wants to be by himself a lot he wants to be upstairs a lot in his room he like leads us to the stairs to go upstairs and you know I'll go up every once in a while and say hey you want to come back down and sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't it's just he's three and a half I'm talking about my son for anyone who doesn't know um, my son is three and a half and he's um he's on the spectrum with mild autism and he's very smart but he doesn't communicate yet he's he, he's not nonverbal, luckily for us because there's so many challenges in life and anyone who's got to deal with that challenge as well, my heart goes out to you because if I never heard his voice. Okay, I'm going to stop thinking about that because we're trying to be happy here. He talks a lot. He just doesn't talk in sentences or to people. He um, mimics a lot. He knows his entire, he knows his entire alphabet. He counted to a hundred. <laughs> I think he like missed a couple numbers here and there, but he counted to a hundred the other day. Um, and he's known these things for a long time. We're glad he's vocalizing, but he still just like will grab our hands, lead us to something, and then he won't really point. He'll just kind of lead our hand towards the thing and then let go of our hand and walk away, like as if to say, like, all right, um, just you know, let me know when you have it. Like he just just how he is, and um. It's just because I haven't dealt with anybody like him except for maybe, possibly, a little bit, myself. <laughs> that is the funny part. You know, I I noticed that I, I always relate things to myself and I don't realize how much it comes off as really self-centered. I'm not trying to be self-centered. I'm trying to just be like, okay... What's the best way to empathize? How can I put myself even more into their shoes? Like, that's what my brain is doing. I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful to anybody. But I recognize now that they can come off that way. So I don't ever want to do that. And seeing how he is and how he wants to be by himself. And he's unlike any other three and a half year old that I can remember. I don't remember myself at three and a half necessarily. I mean, maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't remember ages. I have like one memory from being two, but it's like just like an image type of memory and then it kind of goes. I don't know about the rest of them. You know, like anybody, you just kind of have flashes sometimes before you have like full memories. Um, but it's, I wanted to be by myself a lot. I wanted to be in my room and I wanted to play with my toys and like group projects at school, whenever it was a group project, it would always kind of... I just want to do it by myself and that's not always a good thing and I recognize that's not always a good thing but there are some things that yeah you keep to yourself make it your thing this channel is that thing for me and the past few days I have been all over social media well not all social media mostly just Twitter and Instagram a little bit um, I'm not trying to be a pretty Instagram person I'm tr trying to be me and I'm trying to spread and amplify voices that are, like I said, I'm just trying to amplify voices and I'm just all over the place right now because I've been feeling this weight on my chest. And I mean, literally feeling a weight on my chest. It's, it's the same anxiety I had in junior high school 
when I had to have an echocardiogram done to see if I was okay. It was anxiety. So it's happening again, but I'm older now and I know how to chill myself out, but it still doesn't stop it from happening. You could meditate and meditate, but if your body wants to have a panic attack, it might just try to have that. It's how you deal with it. This isn't a this isn't a family vlog channel, by the way, for anyone who's wondering. I my son doesn't like to be recorded, so you won't really be seeing him on on camera. Um, the only times I ever put anything online with him is when he like smiled at it and was okay with it. You know, like at three and a half, he kind of already shows me. Like if anyone's just like, oh, but they don't really know when they're little. Some of I I bet you more more little kids know than you think. If your child doesn't look very comfortable is doing kind of this, just don't post the picture. Just just an opinion. I mean, you do you. You be your. I'm. I don't want to give any other parent really any advice. This is my point of view from my son. I know that watching him when he looks like he's just like no, could you not? I don't because. And sometimes I even tell him, this is just for mommy. This is just for daddy. It's not going anywhere else. And sometimes it seems like he gets it. I know that sounds strange, but it, it really does. So you know, every every three and a half year old is gonna be different on or off the spectrum. I, I repeat myself so much, but I've said this, I've said this in previous videos. Whether they're on or off the spectrum, every child is different because every adult is different and every human like you're just made differently you experience things differently things around you happen differently than the person sitting next to you it's just he's ahead in some things he's behind in others just like every other kid slash person in the entire world so it's just amazing when I was expecting like a more clingy three-year-old type of you know and he's He's so affectionate, but he's not clingy. He just wants to be by himself a lot. And it's just kind of, I've turned it into a, wait, I have time to do things right now because while I need to look for a job, which is really difficult right now, I'm promoting myself here because I'm enjoying this more than anything else. So you know what? At all transparency, if I could do this as a career, I would. Why wouldn't I? Why would I lie about something like that? Um, but in the meantime, I know I do have to look for a job. So uh, while things are going the way they are, I'm going to take full advantage and just try to at least promote myself here, uh, learn things about people here, and just make myself a better person and more prepared for all the garbage that's been happening to fight it and to just speak out against it and all that and to make my son into his own best advocate and also an ally because, you know, happy, healthy, and not a douchebag is what I was hoping for him <laughs> all in life. Like those were the main things, happy, healthy, not a douchebag. I'm sure there's plenty others, but those are the main things that we really wanted for our son. I don't care about anything else. <sighs> So I really, I really do walk around the block to get across the street when I'm talking. Um, that's just a weird analogy I say. Uh, I don't know why I say it. You know what? I know why I say it. Teen Wolf. If anyone's seen Teen Wolf, I'm talking about the original movie then. That's why that, that's why that appeared in my head. It's, it wasn't an analogy they made. It's just, I'm going to stop now. I need to shut up because I don't. <laughs> I might eat my quesadilla now. And uh, enjoy your quesadilla or whatever you what, You know, fake it till you make it if it's going to make your... Do whatever makes your life better. Just don't be a douchebag. And... Like. And or comment and or subscribe. Or dislike if you don't like. But, you know, just try to, try to be just critical in the comments as opposed to being unnecessarily mean. Nobody likes that, and it just makes you look bad. So, have a great day, everybody. Or a, a better day than yesterday. Bye.